Willie, welcome. I call you Pops. Pops, welcome. <laughs> how much do you? How much did you enjoy doing these? Well, I enjoy it because it took me back to the to home, from the ground roots up as a kid, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And uh, because I have a lot of concern in hitting where it is today, and uh, to like when you came along, I had to get you back what you could do. And I think it's each person got to learn, adopt his own ability, and keep growing. Well, that's one of the things that I, I'm hoping that these young kids and uh, they play close attention to uh, your successful batters. Uh, your information that you were able to help me with was, was incredible, and it got me to that next level. So that's why right now, let's take a look at the first installment of the successful batter from Pops, Willie Hoyt. <laughs> the corner of the Lodge and Canfield Drive, now known as Willie Horton Drive, named after the great Willie Horton. 325 bombs in the big leagues, over 1,100 runs driven in, over 18 seasons, Willie. But this is where it all began for you, this, this field in this neighborhood. Uh, what's it like when you think about it looking back? Well, I'll tell you, I'm very fortunate. I wish this field was here when I played. <laughs> but, you know, along where we standing at used to be 6th Street. Street. John Lodge, and that's how I learned how to hit balls with a broomstick and bottle cap hitting across the construction. <laughs> but then we come up here to school up here, post school. I, I don't forget the name of it now, but it's post school ground. We played strikeout. I stopped over there this morning, just drove up there just to get the good feeling. And my building 1002 across the street. And then out here, starting my little league with Mr. Thompson, Ron Thompson. He was an ex football player, got hurt with the Ram and going to Wayne State. And he, we used to run from the guy. And, he, and he, he was a big old guy. And so one day he said, you guys meet me out there. And we met him with our balls and bat. We come out, thought we were going to start hitting, playing ball. He said, now put that in the corner and get in the circle and hug your buddy. He said, this is the beginning of you guys playing a team sports. It's a weak concept. Learn the lane you should learn, your lane you should stay in, and learn about yourself. To keep growing. Then we start growing. Then we went into a little basic stuff, but he kept us enjoying it. And he said, because the way you learn to play this game, when you get up in older age, you got to keep your little boy in there. There she goes, way back. It might be out of here. It's home run. Holy cow, did he get that ball around. How do you know how to trust your own ability and what works for you? How do you learn where that trust comes from with your own natural game and, and separate all the noise? When I start coaching with, say, say Oakland A's, Head Caseco, these guys, I had to build trust. I built a trust, and I came up with a little, more like a little question thing. Gave it to them, learn how to deal with them, what they love doing. Then I start playing with them how to trust. So I try to pass that down to coaches. And I wish in some ways, it's, it's the old way, but it'll fit right into the technology. If we start just take some of little simple thing, it'll fit in with the analytics. I mean, as I'm saying the word right, the people add. Analytics, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love what they're doing because it's teaching me what I had to do for myself. But I ain't never forget my responsibility. We don't want to teach where you keeping the guy's responsibility. He got to teach him where he know this is his responsibility. Now he get into the knowledge of the game. So you just heard it from Willie Horton. Trust is a big part of hitting. Well, trust me on this. We're going to be back with Willie with another segment on how you can be a better hitter. <laughs> 